that's the thing that he says there. Jesus is the Son of God. And he uses two verses to say that. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You're my son, today I have begotten you. Or again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. The previous verse says that he has a name that is better than all the angels. And what name is that? Was it the name Jesus? Uh, could be. But the very next thing that he says after that is the name that he had that's greater is the name Son. Is the title Son. He says no angel has ever been called in this unique, specific sense, the Son of God. The Son of God. He says it hasn't happened. He asks the rhetorical question, do you know it happened? And they say, well, well, no, author, it hasn't happened. I don't, I don't know that. Um, what does it mean to be a son of someone? Of course, we, we think genetically and that sort of thing. But maybe I want to just ask a question. The time has changed since in the past 2,000 years. What, let's just say, what man here, and this is honest, not a rhetorical question, an actual question. Uh, what man here is on the same career path as your father was? Maybe when he was this time in your life. Or what, do you aspire to have the same career as your father? Any hands? Who's doing the same thing? One. <laughs> Two. Two. Uh, ladies? Same career path as your mom or same? One. <laughs> now, if I were to ask that question a hundred years ago, it would be a much higher percentage than, than now. If I were to ask it 600 years ago, before the uh, Industrial Revolution, it would be nearly unanimous. Mm -hmm. Well, of course I'm doing the same thing that my father has done. Uh, I've been trained by him. Uh, he has, has brought me, he's taught me the, the trade that I'm going to be doing. That is what I'm going to do, uh, of course. And as we're here so urbanized and here we're so, it's post-industrial revolution, everything's, everything's different. Um, we rarely, rarely would follow in the footsteps of our fathers when it comes to careers. But for the first century, it is just totally assumed that of course you're going to be just like your dad. And even when we see this a couple times in the Bible, when, when someone's called the son of something, it means they have all the characteristics of that. Um, we see people that are called the son of perdition. Uh, Jesus talks about um, uh, these two guys that are his followers that have this really intense personality. He says, you guys are the sons of thunder. You know, All the characteristics of thunder, it's, it's all in you. It transfers down to you. You're exactly like your father. So when, when we see that Jesus has this name of the son of God, uh, we really shouldn't think in levels of like procreation or family tree or like paternity test or anything like that. The, the use of this word son of God, it's another way of saying that, that he is the exact imprint of his nature, as we saw in the previous verses. That he is the same as his father. We think of son of God as if that means some kind of distance between but I mean, that's, we're reading a 21st century uh, understanding of it into a 1st century text. We shouldn't think of, oh, he's, he's only the Son of God, but he is the Son of God. All that the Father has, he is. It's a title that later writers did not make up and apply to Jesus. We'll make sure we don't understand it as that. This is something the Father himself has said out loud a couple times. Any, any, who knows, when did, did the Father say that, that Jesus was his son? Baptism. As baptism and Multiple. the transfiguration, yeah. So not just once, wouldn't once be great, but twice. He says, this is my son. I love him. I'm proud of him. The idea that Jesus is the son of God is declared from heaven. And we're told again from scripture, Old Testament and New Testament, that he is the son of God. You know, in the angels, we see over and over again, there's like 10,000 times 10,000. There's an innumerable, innumerable uncountable um, amount of, of angels. And you know, out of all those angels that are described in the Bible, we know three names. The rest, we just, their names aren't even mentioned. But it says that, that out of all those, not one of them is called the Son of God. Jesus has a name that's so much higher than theirs.